All right, today we're going to talk about the scorpions. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to talk about the scorpions here, scorpions on here, because I've digested a lot of their stuff already. But I still got about oh, about half. They got a lot of stuff, right? So we're going to talk about this one today, um, because uh, just like everybody else, you know, I know well not everybody else, but this I'm familiar with a couple songs on here. I've owned this record forever, but I really didn't get around to listening to the whole thing and really digesting it until. Until recently, I don't know why I just hadn't. I, I was a, I came into the Scorpions like the Face the Heat era, which I think is a great record, and uh, the one they did last year, Return to Forever, was really really good. Um, so we'll talk about this one, uh, Tease Me, Please Me. Anybody remember that being the the, the, the single? Remember that video on MTV? There was a pool boy. It was seriously a video about a pool boy. Um, that's good. Don't believe is a good song. A lot of this kind of went past me. I mean, I love the Scorpions, but really, the songs are about normally. I'm on the road. I want to rock. There's a girl. Those are like the main three things for Scorpion songs. It's fine. It's rock and roll. I get it. Um, most to be with you in heaven sounded too much like um, you give me all I need from Blackout. Is it from Blackout? I'm not sure which Scorpion's record that is, but that's to be with you in heaven. And you give me what I need is you give me what I need. And it's the same. I just I was like I've already heard this song. So um, and a lot of this kind of went past me. I like Crazy World. That's a good song. But the ballads on here are the ones that really... I love Scorpion's ballads. I really do. So Send Me an Angel is beautiful. This is the record with Wind the Change on it. Wind the Change is, I think... Oh, crap. I'm going to get this wrong. It's either the 8th or the 11th best-selling single of all time, like of all recorded music history. I'm going to have to look it up. There'll be a little thing over here that'll correct me on whether I'm right or wrong or whatever. But yeah, it's like in the top 20 of the greatest selling singles of all time and all of recorded music is on this record by the Scorpions. Pretty cool. So that alone, you know, everyone should hear When the Change. That's a great, great song. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's good. It's a solid, it's a, a solid Scorpions album. This is like 90, right? So good production. This is the last one they made before this kind of music became slightly irrelevant. And you know, if you basically if you bought this or you had this, you already like the Scorpions, so you're gonna like what's on here, kind of. So overall, it's good. Those are really my only thoughts about it. I've just been listening to it this week and found a couple of good songs in here, but mostly it's just the Scorpions being the Scorpions, produced by Keith Olsen, who does great work. I think that's all I got on this one. So there you go. Uh, my brief thoughts on Crazy World by uh, the Scorpions, 1990. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I'll have a lot more of these kinds of things. I will talk about anything anybody wants me to talk about. I will review whatever records you want me to, whether you like what I say or not. And um, yeah, I think that's all. All right. Thanks for listening. Bye.